All right, so in this video, let's take a look at some of the metadata that's generated when we create a table and when we insert rows or a row into that table. So I think I've already created the database. There we go. So let's set a few things off so we don't get excessive log generation. Let's checkpoint and let's create our table. And let's change the context. So I, it looks what's comical is that you can see that <laughs> there's already object in there. So it looks like there's already object in the, the master database. That's great. Something I obviously do frequently. So now let's create our table in the correct database. And let's take a look at the FNDB log. We're going to take a look inside the transactions. Oh, this is a lot of junk. I don't want to see this. So let's checkpoint and let's. Um, let's do the easy button, deleting. Now I want to create. I want it should be a lot cleaner when I do this. I just want to see the. Ah, here we go. Very good, very good. Let's pull this up. So now, oh, we can see we didn't. We dropped. You can see that the uh, the transactions for we this is we dropped the object right so drop uh, h hobbit uh, and it's pronounced hobbit actually it's so it's a heap or a beach reef so but now we um, yeah I didn't want to do all that but whatever so we get to see some walking associated with the drop also I want to get down here to the the begin transaction of, of the table and we can see. What can we see? The begin transaction. All right. So now we're inserting some rows into the metadata. And you can see this is Copar, this is columns, that's what these are. Uh, these are like the sys objects. So these uh, the sys allocated units, um, these are these are kind of like the storage metadata, right? The storage engine metadata. And then the uh, Copars are sort of like the uh, metadata for um the, the relational engine so so what's interesting is that there there are this this is all this is, is logged information um, and metadata that's logged when a a table is just created so you can see there's a lot going on and we're inserting the rows into the again what are what's equivalent to the sys objects for what you and I know and we're committing the, the transaction and there as you can see there's nothing there, there are no allocations here because we haven't done an insert into the the table so let's go up here again let's take, take a look at let's checkpoint it I want to clear the log out so let's do an insert and see what what it likes when we see some allocations when a single row is inserted into the table all right, so let's pull this up again. Come on, come on, come on. Why is it so hard to, it's so hard to find that damn thing? Pick up, you gotta come in here and you gotta... Uh. All right, so either way. Now, where are we? We, 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 we see our checkpoint. We should be beginning checkpoint and checkpoint. We should be getting used to that. All right, so here we're doing our insertion into, uh, we're allocating for the heap. Why? Because it's a heap. It's a table with no clustered index. It modifying the rows, the page free space. Again, Hobbit is a heap or a beach reef. All right. So, what do we got? Commit exact change. These are changes. Here we go. Change the hop first. No, actually, no. That is the lob. That's that is actually the uh, the commit transaction, the change to the system tables. Uh, what's interesting is we do all this, and we actually don't insert data until the very bottom here. All right, so we do the insertion. That's actually the insertion into the heap. And you think, oh wow, that's just a lot. So uh, there is there's a lot that goes on, you know, a lot of metadata that's created when you insert a single row. And this is a single row. All we did was one one row and two into our table. So this is the metadata that's created underneath the covers. Pretty wild stuff. So the last thing we do is we, all right, so heaps. When we create a heap, we track the free, the free space, right? 
and this is non-transaction. That's pretty wild, right? So all these are transaction, they are logged, right? So checkpoints, right? Again, not transactional, not logged, and we begin logging, right? It's pretty neat that we can see up here, we begin, uh, these are, we can see the, the, the parent transaction, right? So here is the, the begin of, uh, this is the, the, the transaction here, the parent transaction, and this is the, the allocation for this particular transaction. So it's nice that we can go back and see, here we go. So this is the parent transaction, and you can see the allocation for this particular insert. All right, we just go back and see. That's kind of nice that we can go back and see the parent to see exactly what's going on and to see what what rows are created beneath it. So where was I? Uh, yeah, we, we're tracking the PFC because we track the free space because it's a heap, and that really is about it for this demo. And this is kind of definitely a freeform demo. Uh, but the point I wanted to make was there's a lot that gets created, as you can see, and a lot that's tracked underneath the covers when a when an object is created, and in this case a table is created, and when a single row is inserted. This is what we get. Um, all right, we'll talk, I'll create a, a video later, and we'll talk about the checkpoint process and maybe some of the myths around the checkpoint process. All right, so uh, thanks for watching, and that's it.